Okay. Take a um, take a walk, loose. So just take a walk and just um, let him catch your breath, and then I'll talk to yeah. you. Focus on her. Just not... push your chin to the back of your neck, Amelia. Remember, regardless of what happens or regardless of what he does, you just try and keep that hand carriage really tidy. That's good. Breathe, keep your seat soft for the dressage. Legs down, so you're not gripping him, you allow his back to work. Because that can sometimes, when you hold them too much, yeah. can sometimes make them a little tight. Just be careful of the horse there. Good. Is that yours or his? That was you? Yeah. Oh, well done. Okay, then transition to trot and count, try and keep the neck up. Good. And then through the corner, just a couple of collected strides. And then forward again. Pass him. So you just work on good elastication. Now here, what's happened in the trot is you've gone a bit like this lot. So keep that good upper body like you have in the canter. That's better. Keep the knees soft. So when you rise, you let go of your knee. Then make him go in front of your leg, not your grip. So you give a leg aid for him to go, not a, not a gripping knee. You use your lower leg and say, go in front of me. Good, then soften your knee. Very nice. Don't drop your hands too much. Good. Look where you're going and have a focus on where it is you want to be. Really plan ahead rather than just ride the stride you're on. Ride ahead of you. Keep forward, keep forward, keep forward. Okay? And then with a soft knee, slow your rising into the walk. Keep the reins, keep the carriage the same so that they walk into an uphill walk, not into a downhill walk. Yeah? Yeah. And then make him march across the arena.